Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing how to make a clean 1v1 map v2. So this is version 2 of the previous video. If you guys like these types of videos, then please drop a like and subscribe and turn post notifications on to never miss an upload. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So we'll come over here. We're going to go into the Kevin Floating Island. And the first thing we're going to do when we're in here, we're going to delete the islands. There you go, everything is deleted. So once you guys are done, just come down here. Go into your creative gallery, go to devices, and go to hover platform. So you can put that right there. So just put the half a platform just like that. Then you go to your galleries and find a wall and a floor. So I'm going to go into the Valium layer gallery. And I'm going to get this floor right here. For the stair, I'm going to go into the Mega Mold gallery. I'm going to choose this stair right here. Then for the wall, I'm going to the Indestructible gallery. Then get this wall right here. So first off, you're going to place the walls down. Put two high like that. Four that way, seven that way. Then just copy it. Okay, just like that. And delete these ones already. Actually, hold on. Just like that. There we have that. And we just place a floor down. Just like that. Just leave the gap like that since we're placing our stairs in there. Next thing we're gonna get is your stair. You can place it in here just like that. Actually, for a stair, I'm gonna use this one right here in the command captain floor and stair gallery. Just like that. And fill in the wall just like that. There you go. Next thing you guys want to make is a running start. So you're going to do devices, get your trigger, timer device, prop manipulator, barrier device, player counter, type of glass, get the wall here, place down the glass wall, just in the middle just like that. There you go, it's in the middle. Next thing you guys want to do is resize it, hold B. Get a height. Shut them like that. And put it just like that. Next thing's next is a proper new plate off. I sit down. Sorry. Go to settings. Affect all objects in a zone on. Should look like just like that. Zone width 0.5. Zone depth 0.0. .0. Zone height. 0.25, but should look like that. Next thing's next is a play counter. Go to settings, include spectators, no info banner visible, off, use zone, on. And plus it down just like that. Zone depth, 0.3. Zone width, 0.05. Zone depth, 1.05. Zone height, 1. So it should look like that. Place down your trigger. Place down your timer. Go to your first trigger. Visible game. Off. And trigger by player. Off. Trigger VFX. Off. Trigger sound effects. Off. Go to your trigger when receiving from. Select the device. Player counter. Select event. On count succeeds. Okay. Go to your events. On trigger send event 2. Timer device. Select function. Start. Go to your timer device. Duration. 3 seconds. Can interact? No. Completion behavior? Reset. Visible during game? Hidden. Display time in? Seconds only. Show and HUD? Yes. Time will label textile? Extra large. Never urgency mode? On. Never urgency mode time? 3 seconds. Copy this trigger. Trigger room zoom from. Time of device. Select event. On success. On trigger send event 2. Prop manipulator. Show props. Got the settings here. Trigger delay, 3 seconds. So here, got the time of device events. On success, send event 2. Prop manipulator. Select function. High props. You guys want to put this down here. Just like so. There is your wall. Done. Next thing we're going to do is make a reset button. So you get your barrier device out. Just like that. Enable on phase, always. Translucent, change that to red force field. Barrier depth 0.05, barrier width 0.7, barrier height 0.3. Barrier material, red force field, enabled in phase, always. Next things next, to devices, billboard, press it down. Text, reset, text justification center, text size 24, outline, light. So it should look like that, grab it. We might make the barrier device a bit more smaller. Just like that, resize it, come down just a bit. Just like so. Move that in. Just 
Just like that. You guys want to copy the billboard and this wall right here. Copy it. I it done. So there it is on both sides. Next thing's next. Get another trigger done. Just like so. You guys want to resize it so it matches the height of the barrier device. It's big enough. This is one game. Off, trigger by player, off, trigger by damage, on, trigger VFX, off, trigger sound effects, off, receive damage when invisible, take damage. You guys want to get a explosive device and an audio player. There you want to get your explosive device, place it down just like that. Go to settings, can be damaged, off, blast radius, 10, player damage, 0, structure damage, 5000, knockback, none, play audio slash VFX. No, visible during game, no, collision during games, off, show health bar, no, play audio, no, okay. Onto the trigger settings, on trigger send event 2, explosive device, select function, explode, explosive device, select function, reset. So you guys want to place this down, just like that. What you guys can do again, you guys can copy the wall, and copy the trigger. Get explosive to us. Place it on top of the reset button. Just like that. Place one over here in the corner. Like that. And just like that too. So it should look like that. Then you want to place any hard message device, just like that. Add a text, just like that. Display time, 4 seconds, background colour, to the top, white, placement, top centre, play sound, accent 1, text style set, legacy HUD, size, 35, show you where I'm receiving from, select the device, trigger 3, and trigger 4. Next thing you guys want to get is player spawners, it's just like that, um, 2. Go to settings, this is one game, off. Invisible one game, off. And come over here. Place the player spawner down, just like so. Enable during phase, gameplay only. Invisible one game, off. Use the uninstall, off. Enable when resuming from, player spawner 2. Go to player spawner 2. Disable when resuming from, player spawner 2, on player spawned. And do the same thing, for player spawner 1. Just like that, go in here, switch that to player spawner 3. Switch that to player spawner 1. Go to player spawner 1. This area we're resuming from, player spawner 1. Just like so. Then go to the devices, because we get a teleporter and a mute to the zone. So we go down here, get your mute to the zone. Just like so. Go to settings, neighborhood and phase, always, zone width, 100, zone depth, 100, zone height, 0 0.0, neighborhood effects, disabled, low building, off, suck up, go up here, place down a teleporter, like that, so it's not facing this way, see the line just like that, it's facing that way, we need to face it that way, so what you guys can do, you can turn around just like that, Facing that way. Once you teleporter, teleporter group, group none, teleporter target group, group none, teleporter rift visible, no, teleporter rift visible, no, play visual effects, no, play sound effects, no, face play and teleporter direction, yes, just like that. Teleport where I'm zooming from, mute data zone, on player entering zone. Cover the stair, cover the rift, this is done just like that. What you guys can do next, get an item spawner, place the item spawner down, base visual during the game. Off, time before first spawn, instant, time between spawns, instant, go into your weapons. I'm gonna get enhanced havoc shotgun and a high speed breach shotgun. Put the mythic havoc in there, copy that, clear items, and drop it in there. And what I usually like to do, I like to copy, copy that and overlay it just like that. Copy this, clear items, 
Is it the same thing for any gun you like? So my guns are all placed down, then we're going to the devices, go down to the bottom, go to the engine booth, and place it down somewhere. That's good enough. Get weapons. Move them over there. Just like that. And next thing, next thing you want to do is go into my own settings, max plays, two, voice chat. All time limit, none, join your progress, let's keep it on spectate, order start, 30 seconds, game start countdown, off, for start max players, on, settings tab, time of day, 4pm, starting shield percentage, 100%, infinite ammo, on, infinite consumables, on, building can destroy an environment, no, environment damage, off, structural damage, enemy self built, eliminated players items, Keep, respawn time, 1 second, jump fatigue, off, glider redeploy, off, health granted on elimination, 200, time and direction, count up, hard info type, tracker ranked, max trackers on HUD, 2, first scoreboard column, eliminations, second scoreboard column, eliminated, map screen display, scoreboard, always show nameplates, always hide, all in career display, don't show. Next thing I was going to do is go into galleries, top out glass, onto glass prop gallery, get this cube right here, chops off, Resize, make sure it's just like that, and resize it to however you want it, I want to do it like that, get my build board, sit down, text, day, text size, 24, text justification, center, outline, light. Resize, make it like that big. Press snap off. Like that. I'm gonna copy these two. Put some on this side. Make sure it's in the center, just like this. Change this one to night. Just like that. Go into devices, get a switch, get a sky dome, and get triggers. Get your switches, set down just like that. Device model, red button. Initial state, on. Play sound, disabled. Low interruction, no. You guys want to copy this? Move it over here, customize, initial state, off, get the trigger, then you guys want to resize it to the size of this glass thing, just like that, this is my game, off, triggered by player, off, triggered by damage, on, trigger VFX, off, trigger sound effects, off, receive damage when invisible, take damage, then copy this for the other side, day, night, get a sky dome, place it down just like that, light source, none, Light source intensity, 70%. Horizon fog density, 1%. Just like that. Press another one down. And here we're doing phase, none. Put it that way. Keep everything the same. Sky dome top color, black. Sky dome middle color, black. Sky dome bottom color, black. Should look like that. Light source intensity, 5%. Size visibility, bright. There is not time. And here we're doing phase. None. Now we're doing phase. Oh. Turn the daytime to all. Turn the nighttime to none. Click onto the daytime trigger. On trigger send event 2. Skydom. Enable. Skydom 2. Disable. Put this one here. On trigger send event 2. Skydom 2. Enable. Skydom 1. Disable. Go to the buttons here. Turn it on when we're resuming from. Trigger 5. On triggered. Turn off when resume from select device trigger six on triggered. Same thing. Turn on resume from trigger six. Turn off when resume from trigger.
figure five. Copy these two. Crew snap off. Move them in just a little bit. So now let's test out. So now let's test out the change background. So now let's test it out. Start game. Pump shotgun. This won't work because there's not another player over there. So let's test out the reset button. It resets. Don't worry about that. We'll change it in a second. Day. Night. After day. Tonight. So they both work. We just need to move. We just need to move these up a little bit. This one game off. This one game off. Move these out. Just like that. Just like that. And we just need to put these back. Just like that. One time. Today. Let's just set the reset button. I just want to be back. Reset. The builds have reset. The guns are all here. Actually move them back in order. So they look a little bit weird right now. Oh yeah, that's about it. So anyways guys, that's it. Make a clean love your map B2 in 2023. If you guys like this video, then please drop a like and subscribe. And turn press notifications on to never miss an upload. See you guys in the next video. Peace.